Hi there. We can't imagine our life without roads. We needed them in the past, we need them now, and we will need them in the future. We use them for goods traffic, area transferring, and traveling. These are obvious facts, I guess. But no less obvious is the fact that in some places, road quality leaves much to be desired. Besides, the amounts of plastic garbage around the world are huge. Why don't we use it for road construction? You are on the Amazing Things channel, and I'm going to tell you about all this stuff in this video. Let's go. These are amazing things. We have about 25 million miles of roads made of asphalt on our planet. But this material has a very short life, and every country has to spend a lot of tax money repairing them. Just imagine how much cash is used annually for 1 trillion 600 million tons of new asphalt. Impressive? Yes, it is. Don't forget about traffic jams during reconditioning work. Besides, asphalt manufacturing has become obsolete and is not ecologically friendly. The truth is that bitumen, which is about 10% of the typical road pavement, is very toxic. It's made through oil refining, causing a lot of gas emissions. Asphalt is calculated to discharge 2% of the whole world's carbon dioxide emissions. The scientists have been trying to find a solution to this problem until Rajogopalan Vasudevan, the professor in chemistry from India, has found it at last. Shed the waste plastic like these small pieces and put it over the stone. The stone gets coated over the plastic and the stone is laminated now. Now add the bitumen. She invented and patented the plastic roads technology. India has been running the project since 2002. This country is a leader in plastic road construction in the world. The method to reuse plastic waste to construct roads also solves another very dramatic problem. It helps to rid our planet of plastic waste, which covers both the land and the oceans, as this stuff is the main raw material for plastic roads. As the research of the well-known scientific organization Global Nomadic says, 90% of seabirds have plastic in their bodies, to say nothing about damp sites that grow at an exponential rate in all parts of the planet. The idea of this technology is in using all reusable plastic to construct modern chip and ecologically friendly roads. The specialists use all kinds of sorted, cleared, and fragmented plastic, which they melt and add to hot bitumen. The mass heated up to 320 degrees Fahrenheit poured onto the stones or filled pockets in the roads. In spite of the fact that bitumen is still used in this material, the amount of reused plastic waste is so enormous that it really helps to save our planet. This technology is also used by other countries. The Dutch company Volka Vessels uses it with a little update. They manage to enlarge the amount of plastic waste used in the material production. Then the plates with hollows are made from it. Later, urban services use these plates to lay the lines in them and set up different pickups. These plates are put on the seat made of compacted sand. Technology has shortened the work time, obviously. The most prominent advantage of roads partially or completely made of plastic is the use of blended raw materials. As separate waste collection is still a problem, all this stuff can occur at damp sites. And it's not the best way to help the environment. This technology solves this kind of problem, which is really cool. One more advantage is that the plastic material for roads can be reused an unlimited amount of times. Producing plastic roads also gives authorities the chance to save impressive sums of money. The case is that plastic roads almost never crack and don't have holes because they don't suck water and have better plasticity than usual road pavement. In addition, these plastic roads can endure any weather conditions. They are pretty normal both when it's very hot and when it's very cold. Besides, the less damage is done to the roads, the less traffic jams there are. One more plus of plastic roads is that they can absorb noise. The people who live near such a road feel much more comfortable. Also, plastic roads have better wheel holding capacity. For an ordinary driver, the higher level of penetrating quality is very important. Thanks to it, plastic roads guarantee less traffic delay. And as a result, a driver spends much less on gas. And last but not least, 
Such roads can be installed much faster than usual ones. 70% faster, you know? In other words, they can be constructed in a few weeks, not months. Though we can't call this technology 100% ecologically friendly, as the use of plastic also has its drawbacks, it can chip off. And if it happens, these microfragments can get into the oil or the air. This solution can be harmful both for the people's health and for the environment. One more dispute question is that this technology is new, and no one knows how it will prove itself in the future. As scientists say, plastic roads can be used without changing for 30 years. But who really knows? Despite all these drawbacks, plastic roads are the most ecologically acceptable and high-quality technology, and it is used worldwide. For example, in India they have about 62,000 miles of plastic roads. Indian authorities are also engaged in gathering recyclable materials. They collect not only land wastes, but also gather waste floating in the ocean. Mursikati Ama, representing the Kandara constituency in Kalam, Kerala, works hard in this field. She organizes educational courses for fishermen, where they learn how to find and take plastic waste out of the water. And they have fished out great amounts of plastic so far. All this plastic is used for creating new roads. As good as the help to Greenpeace, you know? I can't help but mention one more project called Mac Reber. Being impressed by the Indian technology, Toby McCartney, the founder of this project, made up his mind to create something like that at home in Great Britain. He changed the technology a little by adding plastic granules into bitumen. Thanks to this upgrade, the roads in Britain become 10 times stronger and 60% cheaper. The Netherlands also didn't fall behind creating the first bicycle lane made of plastic. It's 100 feet long and is less impacted by the water influence. In Australia, they use not only plastic, but ink powder for printers. The first road of this kind was created in Craigieburn. 200,000 plastic bags, 63,000 plastic bottles, the ink from 4,000 and a half printer cartridges, and 50 tons of refined asphalt were used to construct this road. In New Zealand, they have constructed a road made of more than 800,000 yogurt tubs. And what about you? Do you want to have such a road in your city or town? Don't you think it's a very good way to get rid of a great number of damps? This is The Amazing Things. See you soon. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell not to miss new videos that will tell you a lot of interesting stuff.